People keep coming up and asking me, look, do you even have job security? I mean, won't AI replace all entertainment jobs in like 10 years? And I say, I mean, gaming YouTubers are probably fine, right? I mean, I bet ChatGPT doesn't even know how to be Minecraft, right? We start out pretty strong. GPT tells us to go knock down a tree and successfully explains how to make wood planks, a crafting table, and sticks. How to make a pickaxe by placing two wooden planks in the top row of the crafting grid and one stick in the center row of the middle row. That's... that's not how you make a pickaxe, GPT. Okay, that's more like it. That probably won't happen again, right? I'm told to dig for exactly 14 cobblestone, for apparently a furnace, a pickaxe, and either a sword or an axe for myself. So thoughtful and concise, clearly the bot knows what it's doing and will easily be able to instruct me on how to make a furnace, right? I've got my cobble, so crafting time. It gets the crafting recipe really close to right, saying to make a square with the stone and leave the middle and bottom middle blocks empty. I get a little frustrated that it's wrong, and I take it out on the bot. It clearly doesn't like this though, since it apologises and gives me back the exact same recipe. I tell it this and it apologises again, and thank god, it gets it even more wrong by saying to place two cobblestone in the bottom two rows. I insult the bot again, and karma kicks in and sends a creeper to scare the shit out of me. Fair enough, I deserve that one. Be nice to your predictive language models, kids. The robots might hesitate to kill you in the AI uprising. I replace my crafting table and get it to try again, one more time. What the hell is that? I ask if it's just fucking guessing at this point. It seems offended. I decide to give it a hint, and I tell it what it already told me. A furnace needs 8 blocks of cobblestone. Thanks me for the hint, and informs me that in order to make a furnace you need to make a square with the stone and leave the middle and bottom middle blocks empty. Close enough. As instructed, I gather enough iron for a full set. No shield though, I guess I don't need it. I make some more furnaces to speed up the cooking. I have a bit of trouble with the recipe for some reason though. ChatGPT tells me to build a nether portal using 14 obsidian, but doesn't tell me to go looking for diamonds or to build a stronger pick. So, sticking strictly to the instructions, I go looking for some villages. I want to point out here that by specifying 14, GPT is implying that it wants me to fill in the four corners of the portal, which I personally think is horseshit, but rules are rules and we've come this far. Luckily, I spawned near a village, and knowing my luck, there'll definitely be a blacksmith with some obsidian there, right? No, because of course it can never be that simple. Finally, I find this nearly completed portal beside a second village. Hopefully, it'll have some obsidian in the chest. Nope, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Well, maybe the village has a blacksmith. Nope, still too easy. I mark down the coordinates anyway to come back later. After a while, I find another ruined portal underwater and it happened to have some obsidian. Finally, a bit of luck. I head back to the nearly completed portal and finish the frame with corners and everything. Well, here we are. Loads of open nether, a bunch of space to run around and explore. Hey, ChatGPT, how do you recommend I look for a nether fortress? What's that? Strip mine? Are you fucking joking? Why would I... Alright, you know what? Fine. Strip mining it is, at Y60 no less. This is so dumb, this is taking forever, why would this ever be suggested? It makes no sense, it's never gonna work. Oh. Maybe the bot knows something I don't. Alright, here we are at a blaze spawner in a fortress. I wonder what ChatGPT will recommend to fight these blazes. Something super normal probably, right? Make a trap, use snowballs, use water, use an iron golem. Okay, water, that one might be difficult. Without a shield, blazes are unironically the scariest mob in the game for me, so the idea of not taking them head on is more than okay with me. I slowly build a tunnel from my hiding spot to under the blaze spawner and I hollow it out. I break the edge of the blocks and leave just enough room for the blades to float down so I can hit their shins without them being able to fire at me. It takes a minute, but once I get it going, it works surprisingly well without too much difficulty. The blazes do manage to fire at me a few too many times, however, so I use some half slabs to make sure they can't see me while I break their kneecaps. Once I get the rods I need, I retreat to the overworld and come back with some gear, ready to try the other strategies. While getting one of them set up, I'm ambushed by a lone blaze, so I figure it's the perfect time to answer the question. Is the snowball strat effective? The snowball strat is not effective. Good to know. Okay. 
by the time I get back to my stuff, my potions are ready. So, time to see how well this works. GPT recommends to use water to kill blazes, and since water instantly evaporates in the nether, I have to get a bit creative with it. So, let's see how well using splash potions of water works for blaze hunting. Poorly. Oh my god, so poorly. Fuck this, I'm getting out of here. Okay, time to get ender pearls. I bet the bot is going to recommend something super practical, like building a platform three blocks high above your head in the desert or something, right? Snowballs and arrows, okay. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm going to go ahead and make an executive decision to ignore that one. Run behind blocks if they're chasing you, they can't teleport to you if they can't see you. This one just sounds like bullshit, but I'll try it. I was correct, this is bullshit. Well, okay, maybe there's something to this. N nope, never mind. Shit, fuck. Okay, still no shield recommended, so I guess it's just boneless Enderman healing for me. Okay, I finally got all the Ender Pearls I need. Let's combine them into Eyes of Ender and see what the bot has to say. Throw one, and when it hovers in the air and spins, you've found the stronghold. Oh man, what are the odds? First throw and we're right above it, I guess. Any second now. Okay, that's bedrock. Jokes aside, I follow the eyes until they float down into the ground, and I find the fortress. It only takes a minute before I find the portal, but I just wanted to say that I've never seen, like, a second entrance to the portal room like this. Wild. Anyway, it's time to go. Nothing to lose, I follow my instructions and jump in. Okay, what now, ChatGPT? Bring a bow? You didn't think to bring that up before I jumped into the fucking portal? Okay. Fine, whatever. Good thing I just happened to have a water bucket for when I tried watering the blazes. Otherwise, I would have had absolutely no way to get up these pillars. I probably should have brought more blocks with me for this. Trying to be conservative, I make half slabs to bridge this gap, but I realize once I make the jump, my only block to use to place between me and the end crystal explosion is my crafting table. Which feels kind of silly, but it does the job. Oh well. Okay, she's on literally a sliver. I'm gonna finish this with a single punch. This one's for you, ChatGPT. You... Peace. <laughs> and there you have it. Beating Minecraft according to ChatGPT. Extremely normal, very easy, super average Minecraft run. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. If you have the time, consider checking out the video Shrambles and I made on her channel, where we beat... It's really funny, and I think you'll enjoy it. Till next time.